Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel regarding the Feather clients. I haven't done one of these videos in a while, but considering that I did a 1.20 series with Dark Slime, which by the way, you can find the first video on the channel right now. I wanted to show you how I did it using Feather client to launch a server of your own. So basically this is just a free way of making your own Minecraft server for 1.20. So if you're wondering how to find out how to make a server for 1.20, here we go. All right, let's get right into it. So first off, go into servers. As you can see, I actually have the custom server right here. Hit this plus icon, hit custom for the template, and then hit the Java version 17. Slots, you can have it as whatever. I mean, I don't really care too much. Um, you can have it as 100, you can have it as one, if you ever wanted to have your own server, but you know. And the RAM, this just shows you the amount of RAM that you can allocate to your uh, thing. It is recommended to have around two gigs if you're just a vanilla server, maybe three gigs or four gigs if you have like a ton of people, uh, but Let's just leave it as it is right now. I don't really care too much about that. And for the name, type whatever. So I'll just type in whatever. And then for the host name, whatever. Create, yeah, accept the EULA. Now the proxy host name, whatever has already been taken. So that means that this right here needs to be changed. All right, so I changed it to a proper, you know, proxy name. So we're gonna hit the gearbox, hit open folder. Now this folder is empty, of course, but let me show you what you need to add to this folder. So right here on the mcversions.net, you have all the versions that you can possibly play for Minecraft in regards to a server. So here we have the 1.20 pre four hit download, download server jar, server jar download has been completed. So you locate wherever the server jar is, and then you put it into the folder, which is right below it. So it's in my downloads folder, but you know, it, depending on where you download your stuff, it might vary, but it's in my download folder. And so you click on the server jar, drag it into the folder. Now this is the part of the video where I usually tell people to make sure that the server jar file is named server.jar. But usually when you download the server jar files from MC versions, it should say server.jar. But in the case that it doesn't say that, make sure that it says server.jar because that's how this recognizes that that's the server jar that needs to run. So with that said, start the server. And as you can see, that's basically it. So I'm gonna launch up 1.20 pre four, just to show you that it works. And while you're at it, Make sure to copy the IP right here. So this was the IP that I went with. And so I hit copy. Obviously you need to copy the IP just so I can paste it. So that's, so you can have access to join the server. All right, so paste the server address right here. And then where you, you see your server, hit join. And now you're in the Minecraft world. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I just wanna say that in the next video of the Feather Client tutorials, I'm gonna show you how to change your game mode inside a feather client server so make sure to subscribe to see that other than that thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video take care and goodbye